I've covered the Middle East for a long time, I've covered terrorism for a long time, and I have to tell you, I'm worried that on the 10th anniversary, approaching the 10th anniversary of 9-11, Al-Qaeda, or what's left of Al-Qaeda, or their supporters, will try to do something to, to seek revenge for your, your killing bin Laden. How worried should we be about that? How worried are you about that? Well, look, uh, we are vigilant and constantly monitoring potential risks uh, of terrorist attacks. And uh, I think that uh, the men and women in our intelligence uh, uh, agencies, as well as uh, the FBI, have done a, a terrific job in, in Department of Homeland Security. But uh, the risk is always there. Uh, and obviously, on a uh, seminal event like the 10th anniversary of 9-11, that makes us more concerned. It means we've got heightened awareness. Uh, the biggest concern we have right now uh, is not the launching of a major terrorist operation, although that risk is always there. Uh, the, the risk that we're especially concerned of right now is uh, the lone wolf terrorist, uh, somebody with a single weapon uh, being able to carry out uh, wide-scale massacres of the sort that we saw uh, in Norway recently. Uh, you know, when you've got one person who uh, is deranged or uh, driven by a, a hateful ideology, uh, they can do a lot of damage, and it's a lot harder to trace those lone wolf uh, operators. So uh, we're spending a lot of time monitoring uh, uh, and, and gathering information. Uh, uh, I think that uh, we generally have to stay vigilant. Uh, there may be a little extra vigilance during 9-11. Uh, on the other hand, keep in mind the extraordinary progress we've made over the last couple of years in degrading al-Qaeda's capabilities. They are a much weaker organization with much less capability uh, than they had just two or three years ago. So uh, what, what I hear you saying is we don't have to worry about a spectacular 9-11 kind of event, more like a lone... Well, a move to make L and bus platforms safer is running a bit ahead of schedule. Mayor Rahm Emanuel will deliver the good news today. CBS 2's Chris Haberville is in Chopper 2 with a preview. Chris? Yeah, that is nice to know. Good morning, Jim and Susan. Hello, everyone. Mayor Emanuel Forrest Claypool and Gary McCarthy will visit the Green Line this morning to announce that the city is ahead of schedule with its planned installation of security cameras. Now, the city has pledged to install surveillance cameras on platforms and in stations and at bus stops, and even on buses, and they're on the verge of the busy holiday season, so it's welcome news to have extra eyes on the crowd. Now, cameras or not, it's good to review at this time of year the safety plan for the holidays. Carry your purse in front, your wallet in the front pocket with your hand on it, be aware of your surroundings, and of course, report any suspicious activity. So let's not rely completely on the cameras. We can rely on each other. to Global Government News. Today is Monday, November 21st, 2011. I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. Um, I have a poll up here. You can come check it out if you'd like. If you haven't voted, uh, there's six days left to vote. And it says here, the next CEO for the corporation known as the United States of America will be the first gay, Caucasian, Hispanic, Asian man so far. Oh, and I just want to put it out there. Um, something happened with my votes. <laughs> I, I, I had like 30 something votes before 35 on friday so i figured i'd have about 40 50 in there now i have 29 um so the numbers are skewed now i don't know how that happened but either way the first gay caucasian hispanic woman and so far is 10 percent three voters um followed by the first transsexual hermaphrodite three voters 
uh, said, so basically 10%, and then we have the first cyborg, uh, that's 6%, two voters, and then the majority is the first alien from off-planet, um, 34%, 10 voters. Now, I know this is skewed because I had like 15 people voting for this, unless they changed it, but I'm not sure if you can actually change the vote. Um, I don't think I put that setting. And then the one that really um, changed the number was none of these. So this is actually going to become the majority, the one of none of these. So I don't know if Google messed with it or if people changed their votes, but uh, it basically uh, skewed the poll uh, almost completely. So I can go in there and check that out. Um, all the way down at the bottom I have here, just go through it briefly, network blogs, go in there and follow that. 54 people are following this blog. Um, news archive over here for the past two years, the donate button there. And you can find all the headlines and links for today's news and YouTube's video description. And there will be a lot of them, so check it out. Also on Facebook, a global government news group, uh, over 120-something members now, so check it out. All right, so you just saw some video there of um, Obama uh, talking about the lone wolf terrorist a couple months ago, right? Uh, talking about uh, uh, the celebration of the ritual known as 9-11, where the government allowed its people to be slaughtered, killed, and then so they can come down and, and uh, basically, uh, well, they blamed it on people that were far away, very different from us, different color, different religion, different everything, and now all of that is being turned against the American people as, you know, as uh, these changes come that Obama was talking about, these changes this uh, consolidation of wealth uh, into fewer and fewer hands, uh, the expansion of the global government, the um, um, uh, basically the clamping down of nationalism. Nationalism, if you're nationalistic, you're, you're an extremist, right? You have extremist behavior if you don't like a Federal Reserve system at all or the income tax, right, going to the Federal Reserve system. So all of that was in place uh, basically to clamp down, which uh, uh, the government and these little uh, uh, people that make uh, these councils and stuff like that, uh, think tanks that make up uh, like Rand Corporation, they know. I mean, the predict the, the future is already has already been predicted. It's just about managing uh, the future, managing uh, situations. They can't control everything, but they can manage it. And the best way to manage it is by uh, attacking yourself uh, and then blaming someone else. So that way, you can go on and you can go on a preemptive attack. Uh, against your enemy, which right now is um, majority uh, of, of people in America are white Christians. I hate to say it. I've said this before. I'm not, you know, a big uh, evangelical Christian or anything. I'm just saying, but that is that is the number one target on DA, uh, Department of Homeland Security's list. Uh, but anyone who's a returning veteran, gun owners, um, anybody like that, uh, you know, even Martin Luther King, you know, he could just talk about uh, rights for blacks and boom, you're gone, right? John Lennon, peace in the world, boom, you're gone, you know? John F. Kennedy try to you know get uh, what was he trying to introduce silver in that uh, and uh, keep you know stop Vietnam whatever bam you're gone so there's many uh, ways that they can do this but either way lone wolf terrorists extremists pose growing homeland threat this is eight eighty eighteen sorry that was uh, in August going to move on here there's just a little bit of a background there so Al Al Qaeda which we know is what is usually a loose uh, term that's not an actual group prior to uh, when these uh, intelligence agencies and that and these think tanks made it up uh, is basically what it's a uh, it's a loose it's a loosely organized uh, group uh, that's uh, that's um, not loosely organized from the top which is by intelligence agencies so the intelligence agencies which are very or highly organized um, get these uh, patsies these lone wolf people um, to do their uh, to do their dirty work for them, and uh, they don't care. They'll throw them in there and lock away the key. It says uh, Lone Wolf was hours away from completing bombs for U.S. attacks. So just like the Christmas Day bomber, um, the uh, un underwear pants bomber who was working for the FBI, and uh, a little thing like I said before, a little explosion in his pants that never went off. It was never really meant to go off. And just like the Christmas tree bomber in Oregon. Uh, it was all what? Uh, it was uh, entrapment, basically. It says Lone Wolf Al-Qaeda sympathizer living with his mother in New York was arrested an hour before completing bombs for attacks on U.S. troops. Police and government officials, it is alleged. So see, it is alleged. It's always alleged, isn't it? But it doesn't really matter. And that's what's so scary about this a terrorist apparatus infrastructure that is set up for you. If you are, um, like, I'm not going to go through it all. You've already heard me say it. You, you, know, you know what the description is. Um, but they can just come and drone bomb you now, right? And then they can drone bomb your children, and you don't even have, have to actually do anything. You just have to talk. That's it, and boom, you're gone. Bam, you're gone, see? AP sources, FBI. So, th and this is the irony, is that the government themselves can go around and just 
support wars all around the world and go and talk shit against China, an emerging emerging power who actually owns mo a lot of our debt, not most, but a lot of our debt, right, here in the U.S., and then go over there and then start saying, well, this is our trading territory, and we're going to put 100 troops and Marines on Australia to protect us, and, and you better increase your, uh, you better let your want, your uh, currency appreciate China. Just, I mean, who the fuck are these people, right? Now, I know that they're all the same sides, but it's just like, our lives are on the line here. We can get hit by a fucking missile and, ki and kill half the fucking country. You know what I mean? Like a nuclear holocaust. These people are s fucking suicidal, and they are doing it all in our names. So they can do that. They can go and uh, have CIA drones flying out of Ethiopia and CIA training uh, uh, this interim government in Somalia for another regime change that will be pro-West and pro-global government and pro-anti-what? Uh, Anti-sovereign individual citizens. Um, and so, yeah, they can just go there and drone, uh, drone bomb and kill uh, hundreds of civilians each day, right? And it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, because they're, they're doing it. But uh, they're gov they're the government, so they they're allowed to do it. They get the free pass. Whereas you, if you just if you uh, if you think about doing anything, um, you're gone. So it says here, AP sources, FBI declined to pursue New York City bomb plot, and it says it declined to pursue a case against the Al Qaeda sympathizer, and uh, it says because they believed he oh he was mentally unstable and incapable of pulling off. Now I've always said this before, right about the uh, Pentagon bomber, the underwear pants bomber, what. They're all losers, right? They're all. Well, I'm not saying that they are, but this is what they're portrayed as in the in the in, in, in the mainstream media, which is what they're telling the slaves. They're always saying this. Oh, he was a loser. Um, like um, uh, uh, what was it? Bravik in Finland, which was supposed to be a false flag patsy, mind control. Again, in Arizona, the target was the judge, with the health care bill that was going to overturn it, right? And then uh, and Giffords and stuff like that. So another mind control patsy, and what? They're all losers. They're all capable of pulling these things off, yet they somehow do it. That's very interesting. Okay, next up, New York City's lone wolf is just another patsy and trap by a paid informant. So it goes in here. Says a paid informant escorts him to buy bomb-making material, and authorities arrest him in the nick of time to save us from a dangerous terrorist plot against, well, against people against free, I guess, semi-free people. I, I don't really think we're free at all. Fake terror plots, paid informants, the tactics of the FBI entrapment is questioned. Uh, foreign cyber attack hits U.S. infrastructure, says, oop, here we go, the experts. Alleged cyber attack on U.S. water plant is propaganda to curb internet freedom. That's right, SOPA, they're cracking down. Foreign hackers cause a pump at the Illinois water plant to fail last week, according to a preliminary report. Next up, we have so another false flag. Quick news: Angry over spying, Muslims urge not to call NYPD. Says activists in New York are discouraging Muslims in the city from going directly to police with concerns about terrorism campaign that is certain to further strain relations between the two groups. It says it comes after a decade of police spying on the daily lives of Muslims, and that's the CIA helping them with that video. Civilian UAV films. Uh, Polish riots from above, so drones everywhere. Then Ireland malls mini drone surveillance. That's right. Next up, we have this. A drone gives Texas law enforcement a bird's eye view on crime. So we're all criminals, right? Feds uh, use more unmanned aircraft to secure border. The funny thing is that they're not trying to, um, to secure the border. They're actually opening the borders up um, for the North American Union, for the trade, right? The to f uh, free up trade routes and stuff like that and speed up the flow of goods. They just want to make sure that when the, when the, when the government is uh, having the designated uh, drugs coming or guns coming and stuff like that and contraband coming through, the, when they authorize it, they want to make sure that only the authorized drugs and, 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 and uh, uh, what do you call it, child sex tra trafficking and guns and all that stuff, when it comes through, they just want to make sure that it was authorized by them. That's why they have more police departments to uh, look to tune out public so they're around the country they're working to shield the radio communications from the public from uh, basically, so what? They have tinted windows, they wear their shades, you can't record them. Now you can't even uh, uh, go and listen to what they're doing, right? Because back in the day, uh, uh, people used to actually help, right? They would actually help the police, but now police are just complete assholes. Nobody wants to help them, and they know that. So they don't, And they don't want people hearing what they're doing when they're beating up an old lady or something. Oh, see, the terrorism force. New York musters 1,000 counter-terror force to be used against people who are pissed off that their future is going down the drains. Europe bans a naked airport scanners over cancer fears as if it's not going to happen. Judge declares law governing warrantless cell phone tracking is unconstitutional. Next up, secretive North Korea.
Korea opens up to cell phones because why? Because they want to track them. Then Sprint enables security emergency alert messages. 